Hey, what's up guys? It's ICP Tips. I know I haven't uploaded a video in a while, but today I'm going to be showing you how to root um, your Verizon Samsung Galaxy S4. Now, for different carriers, it's a very similar process, um, but I'll show you the differences later. Okay, so first things first is we're going to do the preparation work. So you're going to want to go to this website. Guys, Everything, uh, every link is going to be in the description. Every download link, every website link for the instructions that I made. Um, basically, we're going to download the official drivers. We're going to download and extract Odin 3.07 and we're going to download the pre-release and the stock kernel and then we're going to download and extract the Moto Chopper root exploit tool. This is the tool that actually does the root on your phone. Okay, so you're going to want to pre create a pre uh, preparation folder that looks just like this. You're going to have your Moto Chopper, your Odin. Um, I, for me, I have the ROM that I'm going to be putting on my phone eventually. All your Samsung drivers. Uh, I'll give you instructions that text that have a couple of helpful links and your two kernels, um, your pre-release and your stock kernel. We're going to flash the pre-release as the first step to rooting your Samsung phone. This is going to remove the root block so we can root it in the software. So your first step is after you've downloaded the um, USB drivers and restarted and everything, you're going to open Odin or Odin, whatever. And then, okay, come over here and you're going to want to um, hit PDA in the PDA section. Find your MD2, which would be your pre-release kernel. Open that, and then make sure it has uh, an address for it, and that it is checked. Auto reboot and F reset time is going. And right now we are not communicating with the computer because right now my phone is off. And we're going to put it in download mode, plug it in, and then once it detects it, we're going to hit the start flashing. So we're going to hold the download button or the uh, volume down button and the sleep button, the lock button, at the same time. And then right when you see a screen pop up like this, you're going to hit volume up to continue. And it's going to stick it in download mode. It's going to look just like that. You can now plug it into your computer. And it'll say, it will, your computer will recognize it. It'll say installing device driver software and stuff. But that's just like the basic software. You've already installed your Samsung USB drivers. So now you're going to have communication on whatever port it happens to be. And then as long as this is added, that means your phone is communicating and the PDA works. Then we're going to hit start to flash the kernel. And it should be very fast, and then you'll see the progress bar up there move. And then once it says reset, we're going to come here, and the next step is just going to be boot into your Android, uh, just to make sure everything works okay. So, it'll be booting in a sec, but it looks like everything worked pretty well. So, um, after this, we're going to start to root it in the software now, uh, now that the root block is removed. I'll just show you guys that this did work successfully. The drivers are popping up and now we're on the phone. Okay guys, now we're going to follow the next step and we are going to actually root the phone in the software. So I'll show you how to do that because we haven't rooted it yet. We've only flashed a pre-release kernel to remove the root block. So in your settings of your phone with it plugged in, uh, you're going to go to more and you're going to go to... Okay, you're going to go to about phone and you're going to tap build number uh, seven times and it'll unlock developer options and it, here it says no need developer mode has already been active so once you know you're just going to tap that a bunch of times and you're going to be technically a developer so you're going to go into developer options and then you want to make sure that um, in developer options you want to make sure that USB debugging is checked so it should be checked you want to make sure that verify USB or apps via USB is unchecked and to make sure that like that is active um, you have to go into security and go to unknown sources is checked and then verify apps is unchecked also so looks like we're all good here um, unknown sources is checked verify apps is unchecked and then again in here USB, de USB debugging is checked and verify apps via USB is unchecked um, once that's done then we can come up here to your root folder that you made and we're going to run Moto Chopper here um, and we're going to run the run.bat and then oh, okay over here it'll say you know it'll just open it and basically say press uh, enter to root your phone then you can hit any key it's going to wait for the device and it will begin rooting it once the device is found, it'll start pushing the exploit. Okay, rooting your phone will take a while, and you'll get a message up here asking you if you know it can allow the computer access, you know, to be granted. So once the root is done, like you can see here, 
hit enter to reboot your phone and then this will reboot in a second it's rebooting now and then we're going to um, I already have the app but we're going to download uh, Root Checker there's a number of these kind of applications but I have uh, Root Checker just a basic app and it's going to check for root access and once you have obtained root access it will allow you to do that but the first thing we're going to do when we go back is um, I'll show you we're going to download a couple other things okay so we are on here now um, now the first thing you want to do is you should have uh, an app called Super SU um, on your phone you can go to the Play Store and just make sure you have it and see if it's available um, but I'm going to find it on here and okay no thanks um, it says this was already rooted before it will ask you to update the binary and you just hit allow you know updated and then um and then it will grant it, it will grant your phone like totally root access and so once super su has updated its binary you can go to root checker basic and verify root access and it will say congratulations this device has root access and then once you're done with that, you can um, download a number of other apps and download a recovery and flash a new ROM and do whatever you want. So that's your basic guide to how um, whoops, to how to root your Samsung Galaxy S4. This is the Verizon edition. Um, thanks for checking this out, and don't forget to subscribe for other more computer videos.